Today I have an interesting video because it is part product review and part science experiment. And at this point in the video, I've not done the science experiment yet, so I don't know how it's gonna turn out. We're gonna do it together and we'll see if the claims of this product hold up to be true. Backstory is that a company off Amazon contacted me and said, hey, would you be interested in reviewing our UV phone sterilization sanitizing box? I said, well, you know, truth be told, and this is a true story, I'd actually been kind of casually looking at these things for a couple months, and I was looking at getting one, so win-win. I get to try one out and do a video for all of you, and we'll see. We have a UV robot at the hospital that we put in patients' rooms after they have been in there with either presumed or known COVID disease, and it lights up in those rooms for five minutes, sterilizing the room using UV light. Now, granted, that device costs upwards of $50,000, and this cost $50, but point being, they both use UV light to sterilize things, so it is a known, proven technology. Let me go over the basics of the product itself, and then we will get some of the questions I had about it, and then we'll get into the experiment of it. So it's essentially a box. On the inside, there are two UV lights, top and bottom. There's also a small chamber right here that you can put, like, apparently some essential oil in, and it will help aromatize it and make things smell better. On the back, there is a charging port and it comes with a USB-C cable. You just need to supply your own power adapter. So you plug that in. And then when you plug this into the back of the unit, you will see two red flashes to show that is ready to go. Power button right here, you press it one time, it turns green, that shows that it is in the quick clean three minute cycle. When you press it a second time, it turns blue. In real life, it's a much different blue. What you're seeing, it looks green and a little bit green. In real life, it is definitely green and definitely blue. So the blue indicates that it's now in the deep clean 10 minute cycle. And then at the end of that, it will flash a couple times and the light will turn off and you'll know that it's done. And you can take your phone or whatever out and go on with your life. Just to show you the inside here, you ready? So you can see the lights on in there. If you open it up all the way, the light turns off, close it back, the light comes on and it will finish the cycle. If you need to turn it off early, just press the button and it turns off. On the outside here, there's a wireless 10 amp charging. And if you put your phone on there, it will start charging, you can see there. And then you can just let it sit and it will fast charge your phone if your phone is fast charge capable. And as it's doing that, the red light will light up to show you that it is wirelessly charging. You can also both clean a phone or a product on the inside and wirelessly charge it on the outside at the same time. Now, most of you, probably none of you know, one of my master's degrees is in microbiology, immunology, and retrovirology. So I, I know I don't look like a scientist, but, well, well, here. All right, this gives me more credibility, right? Because I've seen other experiments online where people have taken these in the lab and they always wear white coats, and that always means official scientist. So I, here we go, so official scientist now, degreed scientist. So I contacted them and I said, hey, you know, I'm dubious of this thing working. Do you have any proof that this works? And they said, well, yes, we do. Here's this result from the Guangdong Center for Microbiology that shows pre and post treatment, there are less bacteria. And I looked a little bit closer at that result and I said, you know, I see that that used glass in that experiment. And I could see that if you put a piece of glass in there, kind of like this plastic, that the light could shine all through the glass and sterilize the top and bottom of it. But a phone obviously is solid and it can't shine through that. So I said, well, tell me some more, I'm still admittedly dubious. And they said, well, not only does this put out two different wavelengths of UV light, 185 and 254 nanometers, but it also creates ozone. And ozone is also known to sterilize products. So I said, okay, well, I'm interested. Send, send me the product and let's have a look at it. So I got it and you run it through. And again, you still can't really tell. There's no way for you to know that it's any cleaner. So I said, well, you know what? Let's test it. So I got some Petri dishes and we're gonna swab the phone and a bunch of other things and we're gonna test it and then we're gonna clean it and we're gonna give these a couple days to grow and we'll see what happens. To be a little more scientific like, I also put a mask on so I don't breathe any bacteria falsely onto the plates after they're clean and I've got some gloves as well. I really don't think the goggles are doing much because I'm not going to look any bacteria onto the glasses. So I'm gonna take these off for what that's worth. All right, first we're going to swab my phone front and back, drop of sterile water and we'll swab the phone. First the front side of it. Got my plate here labeled front and back. All 
And let's put the phone now in here and run it through the 10 minute cycle. All right, cycle's done. Let's swab it post, top, front. Cutting the chase here, I'm all done with the experiment. I saved you from having to watch me swab and plate a bunch of different things. But as you saw, I did it with my phone. I ran it through the 10 minute cycle. And then I got a few other phones and sets of keys from different people. And then I swabbed and plated those both pre and post either three or 10 minute cycle. And then I incubated them in my garage late June, early July, where it kept it between 80 and 100 degrees, which is a good temperature for these nutrient auger plates. And let it grow for that amount of time. And let's have a look and see how the results came out. To start with, here is my phone before being treated. The front of the phone is on the top, the back of the phone is on the bottom, and post-treatment, 10 minutes, you can see the front is cleaner. The back of the phone actually not a lot different, and that's after the 10 minute cycle. So not a huge improvement there. Here's another phone, one of my coworkers' phones. Again, front and back, top and bottom. Not a ton of growth on that. But after a 10 minute cycle, you can see that there is definitely less growth, especially on the back. On my phone, for some reason, the back didn't get as clean, but on this one, the back did get cleaner. And overall, I'd say there is less growth. Another friend's phone, front and back, pretty good amount of growth on that. And after just the three minute cycle, you can see there is significantly less growth. There is that big growth here, but overall, there is a lot less growth, both front and back after just three minutes. And then one other three minute phone, front on the top and back on the bottom, not a ton of growth on the back. And post treatment after just three minutes, essentially no growth. And then two sets of keys. This is before and after top and bottom. So you can see a lot of growth on the top before the treatment. And then this is three minutes, as you can see over here, got rid of a bunch of that bacteria. And then one more before and after set of keys some growth before on the top and less growth on the bottom afterwards. So what's my take home from all of this? This was admittedly a relatively small sample size of four phones and two sets of keys run through either three or 10 minutes on this. As you can see, it didn't kill all of the bacteria, but in almost all of the cases, there was definitely less growth post-treatment than there was before running through this. Also interestingly, the 10 minute cycle didn't seem to produce better results than the three minute cycle. Granted, it's not entirely apples to apples because it was this phone compared to a couple other phones, but there was at least less growth after the three minute cycle as compared to some of the 10 minute cycles, just going to show that you don't need to take the extended period of time. And in most cases, three minutes is going to be plenty. So in the end, is this worth it? I think it is for $50, set this on your nightstand or on your kitchen counter. You take the device that you run through the swamp of your daily life. You set it in here for a quick three minutes while you're making breakfast or taking a shower and it definitely does seem to come out cleaner than beforehand. So I think for $50, it's worth it. I'll put a link down below, you can check it out. It's been an interesting experiment, it was interesting doing all these. A lot of people that I showed too were pretty intrigued by this. So let me know what you think, let me know if you've had one of these and how your experience has been as well. Post some comments.